And Alec Baldwin, if you know the show, you know Alec Baldwin is just godlike on this program. His, ma his presence He's is brilliant. magisterial. Uh, was he always intended for that role? I, I wrote the role with him in mind because he had hosted uh, Saturday Night Live a bunch of times and he's so funny and he had, you know, heretofore been known as just this dramatic leading man. And But he, he hosted like 12 times and people just kept you know, realizing how funny he was. Yeah. But uh, we actually auditioned a bunch of actors and met with a bunch of actors before I had the guts to approach him about it. What's he like with the... Uh, with Because in a way, I guess he's the most experienced actor. He's had a Oh, movie, my God. He yeah. might... Technically, he's the only actor on the <laughs> so show. So does he tutor other... Is he like a mentor to other people? Yeah, I mean, I've learned a lot from working with him. And we're always pairing him with, you know, these random people. We did a... a in season four, which we just finished, which I guess you'll have here in, like, nine years. Um, <laughs> uh, um, but we put, yeah, we put him with crazy people. We've gotten a habit this year. We, there's a guy who's a, a custodian at the, the studio where we shoot, and his name is Subas. And, and we put him in the show a few times as a custodian. Um, like a janitor guy. A janitor guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, a janitor. Yeah. And, um, and he's, really, you know, he's really natural and charming. And then I, I, guess, what, I guess what I learned from this was that maybe Alec doesn't actually watch the show after it's done. Because <laughs> then we, at, Subas then got a bigger story. We sort of did a, a Conan J. Leno parallel where the night janitor, the overnight janitor, wanted the 11.30 janitor shift. And it was like a janitor war. <laughs> And so we had one guy who was an actor, and then we just used Subas again, and Alec pulled the director aside and was like, this guy is terrible. This guy's a terrible actor. And they were like, Alec, he's the janitor. <laughs> and he's been on four times. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure many fans have asked you this, but it's rather like the X-Files in that you wanted Mulder and Scully to get together. You wanted to see that chemistry mm. finally bear fruit. And, and we all wonder whether or not Liz Lemon is going to get it on with Jack Donaghy. Yeah, I, don't, I think we've committed to the fact that, no, they should never be together, except in the 30 Rock porn, which is real and available. Is there 30 Rock? There is. And I actually haven't watched it. I assume that Liz and Jack oh. go to town on each other. But there is a 30 Rock porn movie, and the same actress who played Sarah Palin in the Sarah Palin porn movie played me. Isn't that nice? It's kind of it's all filtering so down it's to other an people. Honor. That's fabulous. Yeah. Uh, now, what, what possible porn title could you get that sounds a bit like Thirty Rock? That could they couldn't think of anything. Yeah. I think it's actually <laughs> called the Thirty Rock Porn Parody. It's like it's right there in front of you. You must be tempted it's to watch right it. It's right there. I've watched the trailer. Oh yeah, that's yeah. good enough. That's good enough.